Hey guys, Coach Nate here from Fleet Feet. You know, if you would walk into a running store and try on a few different pairs of shoes, uh, the outfitter might ask some questions and line up two or three pairs of shoes in front of you. And ultimately, the question you have to decide is, well, which shoe are you gonna pick? Well, we're gonna get into that and more in today's video. We're here at Fleet Feet Orlando to talk to Nico, one of their super experienced outfitters, to break down some of the more tangible aspects of comfort, the things about the shape of your foot, your feet, and why they might pull a certain shoe for you, as well as some of those intangible aspects of comfort, the shoe that's just gonna work for you at mile five or mile 10. So let's dive in. Hi, my name is Nico and I'm Retail Experience Manager here at Fleet Feet Orlando talking with you about the tangible things you should be looking for at a Fleet Feet location when talking about uh, is the shoe comfortable for you or not. So after the Fit ID experience, after the dynamic scan and everything like that and uh, your outfitter is pulling you some shoes, a couple things that you're going to be looking for. First, we're going to talk about the fit of the shoe and next we're going to talk about the underfoot feel of the shoe. So first, the fit. We're gonna talk about a couple things. One, we're gonna talk about length. So it's a thing that most people think of when they think of a shoe, mainly because you see that big number on the side of a shoe box. So lengthwise, what most outfitters will do is they'll make sure that you have about a thumbnail's length inside of the shoe for a couple reasons. One, your foot's gonna swell when you run in the shoe, especially if you're thinking you're gonna go on some longer runs. And we wanna make sure that your toenails stay pretty, you're not hitting the front of this toe guard right here. Most of the time, customers will say to me, well, I'm afraid I'm gonna slide forward. You're gonna slide forward anyways, we just wanna make sure that you're not hitting the front of this shoe. The other reason why we're worried about the length is we want to make sure that the widest part of your foot is at the widest part of the shoe for a couple of reasons. One, that's how the shoe's built uh, to fit your foot so that way uh, that wide uh, toe bone at the ball of your foot can fit right in that little pocket. And the other thing is just so the shoe is made to flex at a certain point so I want to make sure that your foot is sitting right there in that widest part of the shoe. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the volume. It's a thing that not a lot of customers think about, which is fair. A lot of customers think about their foot like a piece of paper because it's what's on the shoe box. It's length, it's width. But a lot of times people don't realize that based off of how this tongue is built, based off the way that this material is built, is it stretchy, is it firm, is it anything like that? We wanna make sure that your foot is not getting squeezed this way. Why that's important, uh, some people, they have hammer toes, they have foot sensitivity issues on the top of their foot. They're like me and they have a really high arch and anything that squeezes the top of their foot can make their toes go numb, especially when like they're going on a long run and their feet are swelling here in Florida. So we just wanna make sure that on the top of your foot that we're not squeezing anything and that you feel comfortable in the shoe. What's most important about all that is of course you telling your outfitter, this feels too big, they're probably gonna ask you where does it feel too big. So knowing those three important areas, the length, the width, the volume is gonna help you describe where you're feeling it so that way they know what to do. They know to switch brands, they know to go a little wider in the width, they go to maybe go a half size up, whatever it is, to make sure that you're in something that's a little bit more comfortable on the top of your foot when we're talking about the fit of the shoe. Okay, so the second thing we're gonna talk about is the underfoot feel. So we've talked about the upper, we're gonna talk about what you're gonna feel when you're actually walking around in the store in these shoes. So we're gonna talk about a couple things. First, we're gonna talk about the support that this shoe provides. So what's really important to know is that these shoes are built in a way where they're gonna flex a little bit side to side, they're gonna flex a little bit from front to back. There are certain brands that are not going to at all, so one of the very important things when you're walking around the store is making sure that you are telling your outfitter what you find more comfortable about this shoe uh, versus another shoe, right? You like the way that this shoe kind of rocks your foot forward. You like how flexible that shoe is. Um, that way, when you're describing the elements of the shoe you like, they can go in the back and then grab you some shoes that match that. The other thing that's really important when you're walking around the shoe store is that you're not just trying on one. You don't just put it on your foot and you're like, this is the magical feeling moment. Especially if you've never been into a true running shoe store like Fleet Feet, you're gonna put on one of these super high quality shoes and it's gonna feel maybe a little bit better than what you already have. So don't just fall in love with the first shoe. Make sure you try on a couple of different things and your outfitter should be telling you, hey, try on this shoe, go take a jog. Try on that shoe, go take a jog. That way you can distinguish, hey, I loved this shoe, but you never know, you might put on that third shoe and you might, that might be the one for you. You might love A, B, and C about that shoe and you can kind of get rid of some of the stuff that you thought you really loved at the beginning, uh, but now you realize that it's just not the shoe for you and you found that that third shoe is the most comfortable thing for you. With that said, let's pass it over to some of our Orlando runners and they're gonna let you know what they find comfortable in their running shoes. For me, a comfortable pair of running shoes is one that after the first 50 feet, I'm not really aware of them being there. A comfortable pair of running shoes is a pair of shoes that you can't feel. Something that has cushion and is not too tight, but still gives me a good reaction back. 
For me, it'd be an open toe box uh, with the right pair of insoles. It feels like you have nothing on your foot. The shoe just sort of disappears. Overall, something that, you know, I basically can feel like I'm barely wearing anything. How would you describe a comfortable pair of running shoes in one word? Um, cushion. Support. Simple? Fit. Cushion? Just fit. Good fit. So as you can really see, there are some important aspects to get you in that right shoe in the first place, but there's also a state of mind component of this. You know the feeling you want when you get into that right shoe. And speaking of that right shoe, or whether this might be the right shoe for you, check out this review playing over at my shoulder of this new ASICS Nimbus 25. ASICS did find it to be one of the most comfortable shoes out there in a blind test. See if it's gonna be the right shoe for you. We'll see you in that other video.